my name's Cameron Roundhorst. For a decade, I worked with Oregon State Parks, um, teaching people how to go crabbing and clamming and mushroom hunting and fishing and all that good stuff. And um, after a decade of decadence, I decided to start my own business. So four years ago, I started Captain Clamron's Excursions. My friends and I have been here uh, hunting these woods for 20 years. So we're amateur mycologists. Uh, we do like to go out, we like to hunt edible mushrooms and provide for our families. Mushroom hunting in the Pacific Northwest is very special because we're able to get out into these old growth forests. We'll be able to get back into nature a little bit more. Out here in the Pacific Northwest, we're finding at least five or six edible mushrooms all fall and winter long. We've got what we found today is chanterelle. We've got lobster mushrooms. We've got cauliflower mushrooms. We've got king bolites, porcinis. Chanterelles have a great identifier. It peels like string cheese. So if you find a nice chanterelle, it's got a beautiful white stem, and you're wondering, is this a good chanterelle? Well, cut it in half. Is it hollow or is it thick? Look at that, it's thick, it's not, not hollow. Beautiful white in there. And then, does it peel like string cheese? Oh yeah, definitely. It's best to go in the fall after a big rain. After the rains come in the dry season, get out and just start looking for mushrooms. One big rain and those will pop up. So those are buttons of chanterelles. And those are gonna be your early first chanterelle of the years are the tiny little buttons like this. Lighter in the fall and in the late middle winter, they will get really big and like big fluty like you see in pictures. So a lot of people will come right up and say, never pick, always cut. So they will come up and they'll find right where it's coming out of the ground and they don't like to get any pine needles or dirt in their basket, so they'll cut it right here. And then it's clean. When you're out mushroom hunting, carry a field guide with you in your backpack. You want to have water, your cell phone in case of emergencies, and a field guide. Just one field guide. But having a field guide with you in that backpack, you can open it up right then and try to find out what you've got. If you find a whole big patch of them, you don't want to pick them all and bring them back and find out, oh, I didn't want these. It's better to have that field guide with you. Here they all are. Shall so pick one and then you look it up. Oh, this one's poisonous. You leave them all there. I enjoy mushroom hunting, just getting out into nature. You never know what you're gonna find or run into. Um, even if you don't find some mushrooms, but uh, you might find an elk or a cool spider or a snake, something cool that you've never seen before. So always just be open to exploring when you come out.